Welcome to the dream world. Where your dreams are interpreted by Pastor Aaron Motebi. On the dream line. Welcome to the dream world. And we are straight away going into your dream interpretations for today. I just want to thank God that we have reduced significantly the dreams on Dreamline 1. So I'm trying to reduce also the number of interpretation on Dreamline 1. So today I'm going to Dreamline 1. So today I'm going to interpret, interpret five so that I interpret more on Dreamline 2. Because Dreamline 2 we still have a very long backlog. Hundreds of them. So we are going straight away number one. In Jesus' name. I want to thank all of you uh, who have endeavored to send in your dreams because this is also a ministry and when the Lord was quick and ming up to begin a dream world line uh, he knew the life and the situation we are going through in this coronavirus and so this is ministry to me as far as I'm concerned this is ministry and I'm so proud of it and I'll continue to serve you and uh, continue to pray for me so that we get, I get revelations and wisdom, I do the right thing. And also I want to guide you in this. I feel uncomfortable interpreting a dream which is not your words. You tell me that my neighbor dreamt this dream. What does it mean? I don't think, I think from next week I will not be interpreting dream which are not your words. If your neighbor dreams a dream, you tell him to join the dream line and he sends the dream by himself. I get a lot of problems connecting you and the neighbor. Because this requires revelation. This requires insight. This requires knowledge. So sometimes I get problems connecting the one who wrote and the one who dreamed before and I get problems there. So please make sure when when you are sending a dream it must be your words and also you put there your name and where you stay but when I'm reading that dream I mention only one name and I don't even mention where you stay but for my information I want to know those things both names and where you are writing from so the first one is coming from Kennedy I'm Kennedy I dreamt when I'm seeing caskets being taken and I saw a dead body being wrapped in polythene bags I cover myself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Kennedy, you have already solved the dream. Uh, Kennedy, <laughs> you have already covered yourself uh, with the blood of Jesus. That's what we do when we dream such dreams. And I told you such nightmares. Dreams regarding dead. Caskets. Uh, dogs. Murders. Abortions. Drownings. The best time for you to fight them is after midnight. But Kennedy caskets represent the spirit of death. If in those caskets none of your family members was involved, thank God and continue to cover them with the blood of Jesus. However, you should rise up to the occasion and cancel every ordinance of 
death and hell against you your family and your loved ones even though there was no one among those castles please do that in Jesus name the second dream is coming from Brian praise God Pastor Brian I'm married and wedded but I've been dreaming several times wedding the same wife I have what does it mean pastor thanks Brian, I have been also wedding my wife all the time. Brian, I wedded her last year. I wedded her this year. I wedded her last year. I wedded her this year. So rewedding your wife, <laughs> rewedding your wife has no problem. So actually, your dream simply means that it is about renewing your love Chikwa, and your vows. Love and marital vows. And I remember last year I renewed my marital vows to Justine. I rewedded her. We are 31 years in marriage. Even this year we renewed our vows. So rewedding your wife over and over again is a representation that you always need to renew renew your love. You should fall in love with the same person many times. The next one is coming from Harriet. Pastor, I'm Harriet. I got a dream. I was walking with my sister's daughter and she was carrying my daughter on her back. It was like we were going to the well to fetch water. I was with my friend called Musao. As we were reaching the well, I saw a lot of snakes. 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 I saw a lot of snakes along the way up to where the well was. There were many, even in the well. We were by we even the well. We 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 are by the we we are by we could not even manage to fetch water. I was so scared. We ran away on the way running. I found an old lady. No, your old lady na ye yalimu yalimu Like she was waiting on the way with the intention to kidnap. Sikugambi ogugwali musamba gweni ni old lady. My daughter and his girl who was carrying my daughter on her back was very slow and could not manage to run on my pace. I started fighting with that old woman. Thank you very much for fighting. And I took my daughter away from her. Thank you for taking her away. And we escaped up to the main road. But I did not know, I did not see Musawo again and my sister's daughter again. That is pastor. I want to thank you, Harriet, for the spirit of a fighter. You need to fight in the dream. That's what I've been talking about. You need to fight in the dream. When something comes to attack you like this old woman, many times old women represent of mermaids and ghosts. Yes, mermaids. Misambwa. They represent. I'm not saying that all the people are mermaids. Because also I'm getting old. I'm now 57 years of age. And I don't say that my mother is a mermaid. My grandmother is a maid. But normally when you dream an old woman and when you cannot recognize her she is a mermaid. With men I don't know. But with women experience has showed me that they are a representation of mermaid. So Harriet fight for yourself so hard as you did in the dream so that you deliver yourself and your loved ones from the spirits of death and premature death. When it involves this old woman and snakes, it even involves witchcraft. So you need to fight very hard. And I know you will fight hard because you have already done it. I'm going to stand with you 
I'm going to fight with you. And I believe we are going to be more than conquerors. In Jesus Christ. Who strengthen us. Amen. The next dream is coming from Priscilla. Priscilla. I'm Priscilla. About four years ago, I dreamt seeing almost all my friends getting married. Kakati mwabalote biroto, ni mtuteka kupresha mpulilize. Chino chienzi juki za vunula. Those who get dreams and you put us on pressure. Olaka Priscilla ono. Do you see this Priscilla? E chiroto cha mpeleza ya chirota four years ago. She dreamt four years ago. Yaburu wa mtu wa chivunula. She didn't get anybody to interpret. Four years later. E miyake jisewe. Yefu ni de Pastor Aaron Mutebi. Now he's getting Pastor Aaron Mutebi for her. Na yama dine chilote e miyake. But she has been having a dream for four years. Kakati yori yawe deze chiloto kusande. So someone is sending a dream on Sunday. Nise naya gala nchivunule kumande. And he wants me to dream, to interpret it on Monday. Ne yena vida nchu wali waba weleza. Nga vidi mumu samfu Augustine. And they forget that some people sent on 27th. August. I have not yet interpreted their dreams. This one has spent with it four years. Please don't put us on pressure. I interpret 120 dreams every week. Just check on WhatsApp. We want to thank our IT team. After publishing them, we even record What's the names of them that hey, we have If you don't see your name, Linde incha. wait for tomorrow. I could dream line to, to be about on 26th or 27th of August. Kati kumukutu ogoko bili tulinga kwa bili mumo samba bili mutano guomu nana. We have not even entered September. But even if I interpret your dream on seventeenth, I want you to ask yourself a question. What if if I close this platform? And the Lord say, I'm tired. And the Mukutu without soda. Not even a I have not seen anyone sending it. But me, I'm serving the Lord. It is also tiresome. This lady dreamt four years ago. She has never seen any pastor interpreting dreams on television. She has never seen anyone interpreting on radio. She has never seen anyone interpreting on social media. So let us be patient. I promise I'll interpret all your dreams. Don't put us on pressure. We are following first come first serve. No sooner or later, we shall come to your dream. Because unless if you did not send it on the dream line, dream line when you have already joined. Okay, so this one dreamt it four years ago, and uh, he, he, he was seeing uh, almost all my friends getting married. But in a near distance, I saw a well white decorated, decorated wedding tent reception venue. It was beautiful. It was classic. So nice. Then I had a voice telling me that that is yours. Now there were two routes to the beautiful venue. A well dug a road that led there and another smaller path. That passed through the forest of eucalyptus trees. Kalitunzi. It was slashed. Kalitunzi, uh, uh, but the forest was well kept. It was slashed, though the smaller path was filled with the snakes. Snakes, snakes were everywhere. In the dream I perceived, that's where I have to path. That's where I have to pass to get to my wedding reception. Now, Pastor, by then things were okay between me and the father of my children. We have we haven't wedded yet, and right now things are bad between us. Very bad. That, you are, that we are at the edge of splitting up. I'm barely holding on because I, don't want to because I don't want to raise the children without their father. Please help me. Thanks. God bless you. Priscilla, I'm going to 
I'm so beautiful for you, Priscilla. Because you are in such a kind of marriage. Let me pray to God. That I may not make Justine rich on that point. I always pray for myself. That the Lord may help me. That I may not make Justine rich on what you have read. But the problem with these things is we this dream is four years ago. If you had addressed this dream four years ago, you wouldn't be going with what you are going through now. Because when I see your dream, it is about snakes, 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 snakes and snakes everywhere. That's the dream. And snakes are representation of witchcraft. Witchcraft, when he's sent to a marriage, it breaks marriage apart. We need to understand that you have to hold a moment and fight this next spirit. And so, your problem does not necessarily come from your husband. It is coming from foreign powers. Foreign powers that comes and confuse your husband so that he behaves in the way he behaves to the extent you are about to completely separate from the marriage. So, um, it, it, is, it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate that things are happening that way. But also the reason is you, you delayed a little bit to attack the spirit of witchcraft. And uh, we believe we are going to pray with you today. And I know Priscilla, God can make a way for you. Priscilla, God loves you. Don't lose hope. Don't lose courage. The Lord will help you out of this. And I'll not forget you to put you in my prayers. I'm a married man and I'm a person who fights for marriage. I want you to, let, to, to grow up your children with their father. But snakes and snakes and snakes are everywhere. That is witchcraft. And we are going to work with you. And pray with you. The Lord will soften the heart of your husband. In Jesus' name. Now, because we have reduced uh, significantly dreamline one, we are interpreting five dreams for today. And the last one is coming from Jay. Good afternoon, Pastor. I'm Jay. I had a dream when I was heading out with a friend, but we bumped into another friend who was wearing a very gorgeous long purple and white gown with black gloves on. Her friend was wearing a purple short dress with black gloves on. Bananga man to meet again is a road. Nalo said young and the Nalo said in the President Trump yesterday. Ngazo ngazo kunchali. Nse nalo said President of America ngachali de na ye. Nse manche chitegeza. Okay, so the Nalo say President of America Joe. Naye ebi mo su kapu machango biye na bide. Naye ulabona bi juki la bulungi. So agambi enti. Um, uh, he was wearing a very gorgeous long purple and white gown with black gloves on her friend and her friend was wearing a purple short dress with black gloves on they were to take pictures I advised them to go to Serena to take pictures but they ended up in the bouquet hall because they were naughty they were behind the hall and took a doll that was supposed to be used for the show. The lady found them and took them to the show. I also found myself there, but was giving advice to people. I was telling them that, that a smart man has to wear a nice suit on, and it does not have to be very expensive, but elegant. How much a shiny, affordable shoe? Pastor. He must have a shiny, affordable shoe. Pastor. What is the meaning? Am I the one that is going to interpret everything that you dream? 
Jay, your dream is about socialization. This dream is just alerting you and warning you that you keep only friends which are beneficial to you. You need to stay with only those people who add value on you. If you had my wisdom window last week, actually this week, it was talking about that a tree sheds off the leaves which are not beneficial anymore to it. Every, every leaf you see dropping down from the tree it either dries up or it is becoming orange and it is no longer useful to the tree so what the tree does it is to remove it from itself and falls down so that it may stay with only the leaves which are beneficial to it that's the meaning of your interpretation of your dream in Jesus' name we are going to pray but before we pray I want to remind you that September is a month of thanksgiving I want to encourage every member of Dreamline 1 every member of the Dream World every member of Dreamline 2 please send in your thanksgiving offering and let's thank God in this ninth month the Lord has been so gracious to us. Even when we are in shutdown of coronavirus. But he has kept us safe. Our marriages. Our loved ones. Our children. Our families. It is a month to thank God. So send your thanksgiving today. On 0708. Send your thanksgiving today. Day. Please send your thanksgiving offering today on 0759 75 and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for every giver. I pray for every tithe. I pray for every thanksgiving giver. Prosper them in the name of Jesus. Father, help every one of these children of yours. They have chosen to give a thanksgiving offering unto you. Because you have been so good to them. Lord, appreciate our thanksgiving in this month of September. Which is the ninth month. I thank you and I bless you. For you are going to make us go through. Every difficult and every impossible situation in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Now I bring to you my brothers and sisters. I bring Kennedy to you. Brian. Brian. Harriet. Harriet. Priscilla. Priscilla. And Jay. I bring them to you in the name of Jesus. Father bless them. Fight every single battle. That's before them. Help them out oh my God. Stretch forth your hand upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are such a wonderful God. God. You are such a mighty God. I command every sickness. I command every disease. Every power of snakes. 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 And scorpions. I render you powerless. In the name of Jesus. I destroy you now. In the name of Jesus. Devil pack every sickness. Pack every poverty. Pack every divorce. Pack every separation in the name of Jesus pack and go in the name of Jesus Christ the son of God in the name of Jesus lose the lives of these people you don't have power devil over their dreams in the name of Jesus spirit of 
death I break you I destroy you in the name of Jesus lose the people get off them in the name of Jesus Christ you don't have right over them you were defeated by Jesus Christ on the cross and right now I put you under my feet in the name of Jesus I trod you under my feet in the name of Jesus go 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 in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit come and bless these children of yours I release the blessings of God upon you I release the breakthrough upon you I release sounds and wonders upon you the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon you the security of God upon you may God increase your income in the name of Jesus let the blessings be in your courtyards within your boundaries and within your homes in the name of Jesus let the anointing of restoration come upon you may the Lord restore whatever you have lost restoration 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 in your life in Jesus name amen, amen. and amen. amen and amen I want you to prophesy to prophet to, to profess and say I receive it I receive it and I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Once again, Nati. this is your brother and friend Aaron Motebi of the dream world on the dream line. God bless you all. Amen. Welcome to the dream world where your dreams are interpreted by Pastor Aaron Motebi on the dream line.